Hey everybody, my name is Dwayne France and I'm the founder and host of Headspace and Timing, a blog, podcast, and series of books that are designed to change the way that we think and talk about mental health in the military affiliated population. Every week I wanna come bring you a short preview of this week's podcast episode. And so today's discussion is a preview of episode 142 of the Headspace and Timing podcast. My guest today is a colleague in a couple different domains, both as a clinical mental health counselor, as well as a fellow technology advocate and a content creator. Dr. Julie Kinn oversees the development and implementation of health technology for the military and veteran communities for the Defense Health Agency. And we have a great conversation about using technology to enhance our understanding and delivery of mental health and wellness support. Here's a short preview of the full conversation. We started off by talking about how we can adapt to our technology use to enhance our health and wellness rather than avoiding technology altogether. I think it's unrealistic to say to most people, to most service members, to most veterans, hey, time for you to stop using technology, especially since as part of military service, a lot of folks are encouraged to test technology, encouraged to try new things. If someone comes to you and they're interested in technology already, then that's a great opportunity. It's not something I would push on a patient ever, if they're, especially if they're not interested. But if someone's already interested in technology or if they're already listening to podcasts, then also picking up a podcast like yours where they can learn about useful resources just makes great sense. Dr. Ken and I also talk about using technology to reduce barriers to accessing mental health treatment. In this clip, she discusses the benefits of telehealth by removing logistical barriers and reducing stigma against talking to a mental health professional. Telehealth is just as effective as in-person care. So that's really amazing. And I think once people try it and they realize, oh, hey, if I do this, it means I don't have to travel 90 miles, for example, to my closest military treatment facility, or I'm able to access a specialty care visit, whereas otherwise I might have to wait for several months. Once patients and providers try this, they realize, okay, there's advantages here. But it's always hard to jump into something new, especially when we're talking about mental health, behavioral health, where there's already stigma on top of it. You know, then you're not just counteracting the stigma about receiving mental health care, you're also adding these logistic barriers. So it's, it's part of what makes technology so amazing is that it helps overcome the stigma once folks try it. Now, DHA Connected Health has a number of different technology re- resources supporting health and wellness. They produce a number of different apps and podcasts, which Dr. Kin refers to in several of the upcoming clips. Here, we talk about how podcasts can be used to familiarize service members, veterans, and their families with different types of treatment, as she does on the A Better Night Sleep podcast. That's part of our goal on the A Better Night Sleep podcast, which is just short interviews and answering listener questions with sleep experts from the military health system. But a big part of the podcast is whenever we talk about treatment, I'm always I stand in as, you know, asking the questions on behalf of the listener. I always focus on, okay, what exactly is that treatment like? Does that hurt? If I'm hooked up to this machine, how do I get up and go to the bathroom, right? It's really finding out, digging into what's it going to be like when I go and talk to my provider? What are they going to do to me? What's this going to be like? What kind of medication are we talking about? What kind of treatment? Another way that podcasts are useful to clients in the military-affiliated population is that they help them to try different approaches to developing health and wellness. And here she gives several examples, including the one in this clip. Another example is the Military Meditation Coach podcast. Like you said, we don't want to force anyone into anything. And I think nowadays, because mindfulness and meditation is, is really recognized as something that truly does help manage symptoms of depression, anxiety, post traumatic stress. And and a lot of the other very common health conditions for veterans and service members, we're definitely hearing, oh, you should meditate. You should do mindfulness. Well, that makes it sound like, oh, you should go eat food because there's thousands of kinds of food and there's many, many kinds of meditation and mindfulness. So what we did with the Military Meditation Coach podcast is we went around to uh, psychologists, therapists, clinicians, chaplains 
from all around the military and VA and said, hey, give us your favorite meditation, the meditation you love to do with patients or beneficiaries. Or it doesn't even have to be a meditation, maybe just a relaxation exercise. Now, in addition to the podcasts that they produce, DHA has created mobile apps both in conjunction with the Department of Veterans Affairs and as an agency themselves. A number of these apps are another way for veterans to familiarize themselves with different types of treatment. One app that, that we made here in the DHA is called Dream Easy. Um, it's a fantastic app, and at first it just looks like, oh, it's for nightmare reduction. But what's behind the app is strong foundation in imagery rehearsal therapy, which is a phenomenal intervention to help reduce nightmares. And the app walks you through learning again, what is this treatment? Why is it so good? And then helping a patient uh, practice this method of re-scripting dreams. It is meant to be used with a provider. We have our newest podcast. Uh, it has Still the technical glitches. Uh, the possibilities are endless when it comes to developing technology to increase awareness and support for health and wellness. And it even extends to when mental health and physical health intersect, as is in the case of chronic pain. In this final clip, Dr. Ken discusses a podcast series produced by DHA Connected Health that addresses chronic, chronic pain specifically. We have our newest podcast. Uh, it has a few episodes out right now, and it's called living beyond pain, and it's for chronic pain management. So we know a lot of our veterans have chronic pain conditions. So this is a short podcast. We only have nine episodes, um, and each episode is, is less than 20 minutes or so. And what we did was Captain Tracy Began, who's an Army psychologist, interviewed experts from around the military and the VA on different aspects of pain management. But we've got lots of episodes about managing pain flare-ups. We also have episodes on how to get moving, how to increase movement safely, what to know about medication for pain management, what to know about meditation, mindfulness, how pain and sleep work together. So this is for folks who might be at home, maybe not working as much as they want, uh, a podcast like this. So Dr. Ken and I talk a lot more in the longer conversation. We discuss a number of other apps and podcasts developed by DHA Connected Health, how clinicians can use technology resources to support their therapy with clients, and how DHA is providing technology education to providers in a number of different ways. To check out the show notes in the full episode when it's released, go to veteranmentalhealth.com forward slash HST142. If you want to learn more about veteran mental health, you can check out the number of books that we have produced on the headspace and timing. You can get them by going to veteranmentalhealth.com forward slash Amazon, then that will take you to the books page. And if you want to share this with someone, make sure that you subscribe in your podcast player of choice. If you go to veteranmentalhealth.com forward slash podcast, you'll see a number of icons there. Find your podcast player like iTunes here. You can click subscribe and then you will get all of the shows whenever they are released. Thank you once again for taking the time to listen and learn more about veteran mental health. I look forward to talking to you next week.